Cooper. I'm happy to be here again with you and tonight we have the vice president, one of the vice presidents of Home Savings of America, Miss Carolyn Drake with us. She's with our local branch. Carolyn, good to have you here tonight. Thank you, Fred. Appreciate and being here. I want to tell them that uh, Home Savings is, uh, is donating the show tonight. Yes, this is about the 12th year that we've donated this show to you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, Let's talk about you for a minute, though. Uh, you are the uh, vice president, branch manager. Branch manager, talk, yes. Talk about that a minute. Then. Well, I've been with Home Savings 22 years this summer, uh -huh. and I've been here in Seal Beach for almost four years. It's been a very enjoyable experience. I like this branch very, very much. Everybody's mm -hmm. delightful. Good. And if the folks come in to see you or see some of, the, some of your help, uh, you have coffee and cookies. We and have coffee and cookies to welcome them in. We have experienced personnel, and we can help them with a large variety of financial matters. Well, that helps. Just bring money. Just bring money. <laughs> <laughs> no, bring questions. Uh, bring anything that they're interested in or have a question about whether it results in an account or not. Mm -hmm. We're always more than happy to sit down and help them with their uh, affairs. Good, good. Um, most of our audience will be uh, probably leisure world people anyway. So, uh, and you're right outside the back gate, That's the St. Andrews gate, mm -hmm. and uh, they can get on the local uh, our little bus and go right out to your front door. Stops in front of the door. Mm -hmm. How about that, Carolyn? I appreciate you dropping by tonight, and um, I'm looking forward to the show. Well, thank you. It's We're looking forward band. to doing Big Band, yep. Dick Emmons and the Home Savings Band, and Bob Grabo will be the vocalist. Mm -hmm. Bob's going to do what Bob does best, is sing a lot of the oldies. Good, good. Okay. I heard them rehearsing, and um, it's going to be some of that good Big Band stuff. Great, so. <laughs> great. Good to have you here. Thanks very much. Thank you for being with us, and we'll be back in a few moments with some more guests. Welcome back to Backstage with Fred Cooper. And uh, my guest at the moment is Bob Grabo. He is the vocalist for the Home Savings of America Band for the evening. And welcome back, Bob. Well, thank you. you. You've been here many times. I, when I drove in tonight, I had told my wife, I said, this is getting to be like home. Yeah. Well, I love the place and the crew and everything. The sound is great here. You, it's fun to work here. You live out in the valley, right? Yes, uh -huh. well, San Fernando cooler, Valley. A lot cooler Oh, here. it's wonderful here. And you could just move in here with no anytime, problem. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> Play golf and all that jazz. All, every day. Love it, yeah. Every day. It'd be fun. Really good. Let's talk about, uh, you've been with Home Savings of America for I was a number with of them, years. Well, 10 years, yeah. Yeah. Ten, yeah st almost 10 contiguous straight, straight years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did we did a lot of a lot of shows. We were in San Francisco, uh, Fresno, out here many times, mm -hmm. and uh, all over the place doing community involved uh, projects for mm -hmm. home, with uh, helping people, uh, uh, the economy, helping people grow and uh, getting homes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we did a, we did a lot of a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was fun. Really when, enjoyed. When did you start singing, Bob? Well, I started when I was very, very young. My mother tells me I just just a baby. Instead of talking, I started singing. It was just an easy thing to do. So why why do the hard thing? Learn to talk, you know. <laughs> yes, right. But I, and then I l I listened a lot to uh, Ray Everly with Glenn Miller. That's how I actually became aware that I could uh, sing a little bit, you know. Yes. Then I studied in San Francisco with the great Bill Stoker, who taught uh, Merv Griffin, Johnny Mathis, Guy Mitchell. And uh, then I went on to uh, Capitol Records. I was on their transcription service also. Mm -hmm. uh, Jan Garber's orchestra. 
I did a lot. You sang with Tammy Roberts? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, back in the 49 and 50, I joined here in, uh, at the Coconut Grove, and then we went over to Catalina for 13 weeks. I think we were the last name band on, on Catalina. Mm -hmm. We had a coast-to-coast -coast, uh, CBS radio show out of there uh, six nights a week. Mm -hmm. And the seventh day, we would be off, and we'd come over to the mainland and do some recordings and uh, transcriptions for Capitol at the old Capitol building on, uh, on Melrose Avenue. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. where KHJ is now, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've had a lot of fun and raised a wonderful family. We have five grandkids now, and uh, my wife and I have been married uh, 43 years, Margie and myself. And uh, so I kind of feel very, very comfortable getting uh, older. <laughs> <laughs> what else? It's better than the option, right? <laughs> That's true. That's very true. That's going to get here soon enough. Um, you teach some, though, don't you? Yeah, I, I've taught. Uh, well, in fact, I was teaching today before I came to work here with you tonight. I have uh, quite a few students. Mm -hmm. uh, people, uh, actually, in today's uh, genre of music, I teach people just how to sing and what they want to do with it in the direction that they want to go. That's that's entirely up to them mm -hmm. because I don't know anything about uh, rock music other than what it sounds like, and uh, <laughs> that's and enough. And there's no comment on that. Huh? <laughs> Just leave that one out. <laughs> but I, I like to teach because uh, I always, always feel like I I learn more mm -hmm. about singing by people come up with some some of the strangest ideas, and and half the time they work, mm -hmm. and they're completely foreign to what I what I know as a singer, but. Uh, out of uh, out of the mouths of babes, so to speak, you, you learn yourself. Have you had any students that uh, did something big? Well, I had uh, a lot of movie stars. I worked with uh, Scott Bio, Bayo, mm -hmm. uh, Chrissy McNichols, uh, uh, Jimmy on the. Um, uh, I can't sorry, I can't think of his name, but I had uh, uh, Christy and uh, her brother Jimmy and. Uh, uh, the only one that ever had a hit record was uh, Scott Bio, and he doesn't sing much. You know, mm -hmm. he's not reported or noted to sing. But right. uh, I, I've taught a lot of students, and I just teach them basics: mm -hmm. how to sing, mm -hmm. how to help yourself. And uh, it's been a, a wonderful, wonderful career. I've really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Looking forward to this. Are you going to do uh, Barclay Square tonight? No, I don't. One of my favorites. Really? You do, yeah. Okay, yeah. We, we'll, we'll see yeah. if we can get it in for you. I like yeah. it very much. Yeah. I'm going to do uh, a couple of Sinatra things tonight. Uh, this love of mine. Uh, there are such things, and uh, and a medley of some uh, uh, two-beat uh, Dixieland songs. It should be fun, mm -hmm. and uh, just going to have a good good time. And then, isn't it better to sing in front of a, of a big band instead of a trio? Then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's what I grew up listening yeah. to and what yeah. I what I really love. Yeah. And of course, we have a great band here. Dick Emmons Home Savings Band is just marvelous, mm -hmm. and uh, it's an awful lot of fun. Well, that's good. Good to have you again. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for and being with us. Please have me again. Okay? okay. Thank you. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with the conductor of the Home Savings of America Band, Mr. Dick Emmons. Stand by, please. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, okay, let's get serious for about five minutes. Okay, okay? I'm with you. <laughs> get serious. After all these years. I know. I never, never told you. I got a call from a saxophone player named Fred Cooper one day. No. He was contracting a record date for uh, Ray Conniff. Oh, really? And I thought it was you. And he said, I'm over here with the Ray Conniff band at the studio. So I said, What the hell are you doing over there, Fred? Thinking I'm talking to you, you know? And he kind of choked. He said, well, I'm contracting the orchestra. Then I began to realize it wasn't the same Fred Cooper. You know? uh, I you lose. I can hear him talk about this. For a okay. Welcome back to Backstage with Fred Cooper. My third guest for the evening um, is the band master, the yeah, leader, the leader of, the band, of the band, Mr. Dick Emmons. He has been with the Home Savings Band of America for a long, long time. Oh, Emerson. yes. Indeed. You love it, too. Yes, don't you? indeed. <laughs> Let's keep it going, Put, folks. Puts food on the table. We, we were talking about band leader, about my name, Fred Cooper. There is a band leader somewhere named Fred Cooper because he's a he has a band. I've had many calls through the years here, and they, they want to know if I, have, if I still have my band. Well, the, the, the fellow I was talking about is a saxophone player and a very good one. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I say, when I met him, he was contracting record dates for Ray Conniff. 
Yeah. I don't know if he works with him all the time, but uh, uh, it's probably the same fellow. You know, very could very be. good musician. Could be. Yes. Could be. Yeah. Uh, uh, I heard he was in Long Beach for a while, and then I heard he was in the Valley. So I I don't really know, but. Yeah. We get around. We have, hey, to you keep Coopers, yes. we have to keep moving. You know, <laughs> somebody make catches. Hey, Dick, it's uh, it's good to have you guys here tonight. Heard you rehearsing, and uh, sounds good. Good, I like thank the, you. I like the big band. Oh, you? so do I. Yeah, yeah. Even with home savings, we don't get to play that much with the big bands anymore. I know. Well, uh, but uh, we still keep busy. Yeah, the trios and. Five or six pieces. You grew up down uh, down in uh, Del Mar. Didn't you? Well, I, uh, I spent a lot of time down there. I grew up in Los Angeles area. I was born in Los Angeles. But didn't your dad have something to do with track? My dad was uh, the turf club and the clubhouse manager of Del Mar right. and Santa Anita both for quite oh, a really? few years. Uh huh. Oh. And then the uh, manager of Turf Paradise in Phoenix. Hmm. But uh, you grew up here in LA. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And uh, and and. Tell some of the stories you, you told me a couple of times about. Uh, you'd go off down to the to the uh, ballroom and listen to the big bands when you were uh, in high school. Or something oh, sure. Like that. you know you, uh, That's when the big bands... Yeah, the, well, the, I was in high school when, long the, time when the Hollywood Palladium opened. <laughs> and for 75 cents, you could go in there as a kid and uh, hear Tommy Dorsey and Glenn Miller and Harry James and all the really? big bands. For 75 cents? 75 cents for, for a kid, you know. And they had the place very nicely arranged so that you, you never got into the bar area. Mm -hmm. And uh, But there was upstairs, it was like a milk bar, a soda fountain and everything else. And uh, Were you in high school at that time now? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, heck, we would just go stand up against the bandstand and not move for four or five yeah. hours. And they used to usually have a very good relief band, too, to play the intermissions. How long have you been uh, wailing at the keys? I joined the Musician Union in 1942. So oh, what's yeah. that, 50 years ago? Yep. But I was in the Navy for three years, and then after that, and a couple of years of college. You made a lot of money there, didn't you, in the Navy? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> did you, were you, were you, did you have a band? Did you, um, did you play in the Navy? Or did you, I did. You? I looked. I was a radio operator by rating, and uh, I happened to be in New York City when this particular uh, part of the Navy that I was in was going to be, uh, what's the word, broken up, hmm. and no orders came through. Mm -hmm. So the, they said on the base, get jobs on the base if you can, uh, otherwise we're going to send you someplace else just to wait. And it happened they had a band, uh, a show band. Mm -hmm. And I went in that and stayed there in New York for six months. No marching, no drills, just go out and play shows in the nice hotels and dances. And really? It was great. Yeah. That's how you fought that war? The, no, well, then I went back to sea. They caught up with me. <laughs> yeah. I had a, about a year and a half, two years at sea, and then that great thing yeah. right in the middle of it. Yeah. And you married a dancer. Mm-hmm. She was in the line at the Palmer House when I went through there with an act. And uh, we used to have to sneak out to the west end of town to have dates because the girls in the line weren't allowed to d date anybody in the show or Well, they heard about the band. musicians, that's oh. <laughs> I can, What can I say? That's a lot of stories. It's though. true. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a lovely lady. She's not here tonight, but uh, uh, we've sat and talked many times mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. Dance and things like Well, we that. had our first child nine months and two hours after we were married, <laughs> so she didn't get to dance much after that. <laughs> she taught quite a bit. She yeah. still teaches somewhat. Yeah. You know. Well, you, uh, now both of you used to go over to uh, over at the island, and uh, and uh, didn't didn't you have a didn't you have a thing going? No. On? Well, uh, oh, John that? Davidson had a singer oh, summer a camp in Catalina at yeah. Toyon Bay for a couple of years. And you were with him, though. We were both with him. Yeah. Uh, I, I was one of the singing coaches. My wife taught dancing. Oh, really? And it was, it was a... It was you a, were going over there for some time. It was a busy a time. Yeah. Each, each teacher had eight students. And you had to have uh, teach them. And then by Friday, you had to have two charts done per student. And then you'd sneak here. Then we'd sneak, job. yes. But then they would perform at, at, yeah. toy, at Avalon Bowl yeah. for over the weekend. Uh. And uh, John just got too busy. It was a labor of love. He didn't make any money on it, yeah. and he just got too busy, and he stopped it. What's coming up for you? Well, you used to play. Wait, one more thing. Didn't you used to play in the studios for some of the? I was a rehearsal pianist for years at NBC and at Fox and those things. Just give us some names. Well, I was on the Flip Wilson show yeah. all the time. It was on, and uh, the uh, the uh, I can't think of the name of it. Boy, second th second thing goes is your memory. Yeah, you realize that. <laughs> 
the NBC Follies and what was the big vaudeville one on on uh, on Vine Street that was the big uh, Hollywood Palace. I worked on that for a little while. See, that didn't ring a bell. Didn't ring a bell. Maybe, no, no. My, maybe before my time. There was no time before your time. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Well, Dick, it's been, what, 15 years, probably? Really? Yes. Here? In fact, I got the N the, NB the NBC, that's a Freudian stuff. I got the home savings account here because uh, Andy, How come I didn't get Andy, Andy Russell was coming down oh, to do a job for yeah, you, and, yeah. and he did not, so he hired, somebody hired our trio to play for him, and he was under contract at, at home savings for years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did their Spanish commercials and did one, so he recommended us, and... Uh, that's how I got into the I home savings. That. Yeah. Now that you, now that you, we lost Andy a yeah. couple of years ago. Yeah, that's too bad. He was, he Real was sweet dynamo, man. Dynamo. Yes, no, great, great, great singer. Well, Dick, I'd like to go ahead and chat on with you, but uh, we have a show. We to have do. a show to do. Yeah. I get the, get the we have a show to do. Well, hey. <laughs> that's, that's just part of it. No, that's I. I think you get things started off rather nicely out there when you chat yeah. with the people. Yes. Yeah, so. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it was uh, good having you again. Good to be and, had. Uh, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for having us oh, here, yeah. as Our always. It's a pleasure, believe me. We're just happy to have Home Savings of America uh, as a sponsor of this show this evening, and we hope that you folks can get out and see, well, if you haven't seen this show, maybe next year. But if not, at least call them and... I just want to... I told you that I would only make one announcement at the beginning, but... We had some people come in this last two weeks ago, and I just want to mention to some of you who have conversations during performances, you may, you may upset your friends. <laughs> so what I'm really trying to say, if you don't mind, just look around and... Uh, and uh, <laughs> don't stop. I'm not going to come and police you, believe me. But I, I said yes, I would mention it. Anyway, tonight, Home Savings of America brings us this show. And I want to tell you again, because when I finish, I'm going to give this to Miss Drake. Uh, please go out and talk to them. If you don't have an account, write them a letter, call them, do anything, and we'll maybe get another show. Let's hope so. That comes out of that comes out of your pocket, so let's try anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, what? Oh, the bus. Good. See, my front row folks. <laughs> I love you guys. Keep me straight. Uh, there has been some requests to run a bus after the show. If you would like to have a bus uh, here after the show to take you home, would you please call my office? Tell one of the girls. Just your name, and yes, you would like to have a bus. Uh, you will use it. Otherwise, we're not going to run it if people don't use it. We tried it a few years back, and it kind of dwindled to nothing, and they dropped it. So if you would like to have one, maybe there's some folks who would like, like one, please call my office. It's in the front of your telephone directory, the Leisure World one. Now, anything else down here? <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, I'd like to bring out the vice president and branch manager of the Seal Beach um, Home Savings of America. No, I knew it was Home Savings. I, I, I was joking with her. I, I have to tell you this now. See, I was joking with her earlier because the second year I was here, I had, it was one of my first shows that was donated. And it was one of the savings and loans around, but it wasn't our favorites. And, uh, I forgot the girl's name, and that's so embarrassing, you know. And I, I uh, this this lady, please welcome Miss Carolyn Drake. Good evening. Glad to welcome you back again. I see an awful lot of people here. It's filled almost to the top. Home Savings is really glad to bring you this show every year. This is the twelfth year we've done this. We've had Dick Emmons and his big band sound. Tonight, we welcome back Bob Grabo, and Bob's gonna do the things that he does best, which is sing some of the oldies but goodies. So I hope that you all enjoy it. 
uh, as we have done in the past, look on your uh, program. There's a coupon for a drawing. Uh, two of our local restaurants have given us gift certificates to give to the winners of the drawing. This drawing is only for you. It's not for any other Leisure World residents or anyone outside of Leisure World. It's only for the people who come to the concert tonight. Um, you do need to have those coupons in our office by Friday evening, Friday the 13th. That's a bad day, but you can all make it. Um, bring them in by next Friday evening and on Monday morning, uh, the following Monday morning, we'll draw the two uh, winners for the gift certificates and we'll be writing you a letter if you won. So I hope you all have a really great time tonight. Thanks for coming very much. Thanks for being so supportive. Good night. Carolyn also has great coffee and cookies. <laughs> so if you would like to go up and have a snack, be sure and go up and visit with her. Thank you. Yes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, under the direction of Mr. Dick Emmons, the Home Savings of America Big Band. Thank you. 